This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Take my, I'm going to take my uh, Before mental you start, performance shot. You need a little mental supercharger. I like the taste. To go at it today. Yeah. I do. I'm, to well, verbally I think what spar to me, what with a kid with CT. I this is I, um, I get, I, f I do feel like a sense of um, focus. Because I'm like all over the place. And so when we talk somehow, yeah, I feel like I'm, I feel like, I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like there's this, a more of a narrowing and I'm, and I'm not thinking about anything Helps else. you focus? Yeah. I think you need to see a professional too, though. Mm -hmm. I think this helps and it's, you're, it's a step in the right direction. I'm, I have ADHD. And I'm, I'm glad you're being honest. And also, ha I'm going to say it again because I want you to know this happy Pride Month. Happy Pride Month. I want you to know I, res how come, I respect you. How come you. I Magic Mind you. Green is not part of that? That's a green green. That's a nice green. I the grass. I like, it's a mossy. It's a mossy grass. I know green. our boy says only drink one, but I, I you drink ever, four a about day. Four a day. <laughs> you drink a lot. Yep. I only drink one a day because that. This, I feel like it's all I need. I don't want to fuck around. Dude, I've never done two. Your your boy. I would do two. Might as well. Yeah, I like it. I don't think you, you can ever take my too much. My wife's addicted to this shit. Um, your boy El Tigre balled out yesterday, bud. Bro, you told me I got a text from like Brennan. Crying. Brennan. Brennan's son pitched a no-hitter in this all-star league of the best kids in the area, and he had to walk away because he started crying. People ask me what you're up to. I go, uh, podcasting and coaching his children. Living life, man. It's your favorite thing. It's the best. It's only the most important job. It's pretty important. Yeah. And time goes fast. Bro. Time goes fast. Like, even this morning, I went he's to- He's 17 years old right now. Bro, when I went to wake up, he's in his undies, like all sprout out. And him and his brother have to share a room, so they share a bed. And Bossy's just like pushed to the side, and he just sprout. I'm like, yeah. this kid is fucking massive. I'm like, hey, I slap him in the house. I'm like, wake giant, up, dude. Giant, right? Wake up. I'm like, God, dog, get some clothes on, he's dude. He's growing, dude. He's That's all, a lot uh, of you know, growing. He's like, Ugh. I'm like, God, let's get going. Just a little giant. But you know, yeah, you know how you and me, we don't- um, we don't do well at like uh, living in the moment, as they say. I'm the worst when it comes to work, all that. My achievements, I never yep. look back on it. Not with my kids, man. Nah, it puts you no. right in the moment. Oh, man. I feel that way, too. When I look at my son's face, like whether it's my, my Finn or, or my little one, um, it puts me right in the moment. It puts me right in the fucking moment. Hey, by the way, I decided to do a little boxing yesterday. Are you making about you? Okay. And I'm... Uh, What's the word? Is source too weak a word? To source too. Well, weak when's the last word? time you did it? Well, yeah, been a while. And I was doing like little centipede steps. And this guy's like Armenian guy, really good coach. Bop, bop, hitting. And I'm just like, uh, it seems like you'd be all right, but if you haven't done it in a while, you're going to be a little sore. No sparring either, just moving around. But any workout, if you haven't done it in a yeah. while, because di it's different muscles, yes, so that yes, you're not yes, used yes. to, so you're going to be sore. A little sore, a little sore. It's all good. You do it like once a month. Hey, look at me. I don't like that hey, question. Well, I like to talk about living the moment. I was talking about living the moment with our kids, and you're like, yeah, I went boxing, cool, so we'll now, do it. Here's the thing. Yeah. When I say yeah. you're wasting your fucking time. Hold on. I'm, no, hold on. No, hold now on. You're going to make hold me the mad? Because uh, my hands are no, viper quick. You, I know, dude. I know. Now. Here, 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 for anybody, yeah. doing something once a month, that's you a, might as well that's take. Such, I don't. Do you might it as well take your dick and slam it in that door. I don't door. do it once a month. First of all, I pay for the unlimited classes. <laughs> You, you're a sucker. They got you too. I pay for the unlimited classes. You're once a week. I've been there twice. Now, like here's the thing. <laughs> Let me finish. I'm going to get a rhythm going. I, I've just been busy, man. I got to drive. It's a little I, drive. It's past Black House. Anyway, you know, listen, man. Hey, Jim, what do we got? Well, we'll let's talk is, about yeah. the fucking UFC. Hey, can I ask you a question? <laughs> What's this? I hear some rumblings about the Chandler Connor fight. I'm going to it. Well, rumblings mean what? what do you, rum, well, there's, there's no rumbling. So no. Here, here's what we know. Yeah, is uh, I think we kind of talked about it on Monday, but what we know for fact so far is they canceled the presser, and the UFC took the UFC 302 stuff off of their website, and there's been all 303. this 303. Yeah, so UFC 303, uh, Connor versus Chandler. So they've pulled that mm. off their website. Um, but from my quick, source, Brent, uh, so today I looked at it and it's still on, but just, I don't know what that means. They took it off of the, not off the, not that they took it off of, uh, I think it was on ESPN plus. So at the bottom, it has oh, all to actually buy it. To yeah. Buy it. Okay, so it's gotcha. off. Yeah. Um, so what we know is that Connor's not, you know, he's not doing any of the promotion for it. And there, there's all these speculations, all this stuff. 
from my sources pretty good and from people around the water cooler it's a it's a leg injury it's a leg injury but i don't think it's like it's not like crazy significant and the reason it's not coming out because i think connor's still gonna fight Remember, Connor hurt was uh, fought hurt against Chad Mendez. Yeah, short, he had a he had a he, he's, his he's, knee, he's right? fought hurt against mm -hmm. Dustin Poirier. Like he, he's fought hurt a few times. Um, it's I can't imagine Connor pulling out unless it was like a made like a break or something like that. So I think it's still going on. But I have heard that UFC scrambling to find a main event. Damn man, uh, just in case. Damn, and uh, and Volkanovski put his his name into the hat. Mm. Uh, he was like, "I'm down." They want short notice and they're paying to fight. Me. To fight, he didn't uh, say. He, he was like, "No, no, no." Okay, no. Here, here's the other. Forget all that. Everyone going <clears throat> Max Holloway versus Chandler BMF title. Uh, Chael said that. Forget all that. The forget all that. You got to realize Chandler has passed up so many opportunities. At the last leg of his so, career, sucks. so many opportunities. You want the best for that guy. Just to fight Conor McGregor. And if you think a small leg injury is going to make him take another fight, it's that's insane. Mm. There's no way. The thing that alarms mm. me, to be honest, the thing that really alarms me, and maybe it's just Chandler taking a break because you yeah. know they were this close to the fight, is Chandler posted that he's headed back to Tennessee. He's leaving Florida. He's leaving his camp, going back to Tennessee. So that's a little alarming, but again, that you know, we live in extremes. People freak out. It could also be he's like, okay, I got a dial camp back. They're gonna push it out a month, push it out two months. Yeah, I, I need to take a break because I've been and they in might camp for push a while. It out two months. It'll be postponed. We think. No, I see. Uh, we, we the only reason why you think it would be postponed is Chandler going leaving camp. That yeah. if Chandler wasn't leaving camp, I'm like, this fight's 100 percent still going on. Him posting, he's leaving camp, going back home. I was like, oh, that's not ideal. Yeah, because I, I got to tell you, I'm very excited about the Leon Edwards Bilal Muhammad fight. Um, yeah, let's stay on Connor though. Yeah. We'll, we'll get to that. But yeah. uh, with with Connor and Chandler, I just think Connor knows, man. He, he talks about the greatest comeback of all time. He's the biggest star in the UFC. If it's just a, a like a, a a leg injury that we can navigate, if it was. A straight up broken leg, broken foot, where he can't fight. The UFC would announce it, so that's what gives me hope. Mm. The, the, if it was for sure off, the UFC, especially a month out, they got to market this thing. Yeah. We, we would have more news. Yeah. And then Dana came out. It was like breaking news. Everyone was like, "Here we go, update." And he did a <laughs> UFC Denver Fight Night update. Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. So I, I I do think if Connor was actually not gonna fight a UFC three hundred two, we would know. The UFC would make the announcement. I think he still shows up. You, you, people, y'all must have forgot. I know everyone's like, oh, you're just a fanboy. Yeah, for sure. But y'all must have forgot. Connor's, a, at the end of the day, is a monster, dude. Monster. He's not, and he's never let down. Monster. He's never let down the UFC. Yeah. And I know he has all the money in the <clears> world and doesn't <throat> need it. He's a fighter. But when he commits fighter to it. through and through. Yeah, don't get it twisted. Like, he's a business owner. He's a dad. He's this. At the end of the day, that guy's one of the greatest to ever do it. That's right. And if you think a small leg injury is going to make him pull out for, and he think about it he's also been saying I, I i've been ready to fight for how long now mm. how many times has he tried to get a fight and you've seen him give it to him he even talked about retirement That's talked about boxing yeah. so the, he finally has a date thank you i just if you're if you followed connor's career as closely as i have i just don't see this man pulling out i don't either oh my God. i still think he gets it done you know i'm you know I'm, you. I'm also a guy that sees the glass thank you me lady I'm also, also a guy that sees the glass half full, but I just, and you look at the resume and point to all signs that Connor's not going to miss this. I, I it's, really, it, the, the only, the, the biggest <clears throat> red flag I think that people are just kind of looking past is Chandler leaving camp. That's alarming. That's I sh and I probably deal. should have done my journalist work and called or text him before this, but I have CT and, uh, okay. and you made me do this earlier in the morning than we're used to. So I, I, if I had to bet on it, I bet the fight still happens. Really? But anyone, like, with, with, with Chael going, oh, BMF title, Max Holloway, Chandler, I'm like, dude, you think Chandler waited this long and missing valuable, valuable time in his career at his age? You think he's waited this long to fight for a BMF title? Yeah, I, I just don't see it. He, needs, he, he wants that big boy payday. He That's wants that big, red panty night. Bodied up. That, boy, that boy's all body up. But I, I think what uh, adds gas to this whole the, the conspiracies of, oh, it's drug testing and Connor's pulling out and this, 
it's you know him posting videos of him partying and all that stuff like he's not taking it serious it's like eh, but he's been doing that yeah let's take a little break um let's take a break am bud. i wearing true classic again yeah i am of am i wearing it every day yes i am are you wearing Can a I help sweater myself? and it's no. 100 degrees out yes and this t-shirt because i know they always fit perfectly it's the best of the and best I'm, I'm i'm so into their button ups and button downs with the uh with the collar because now i'm getting older and i get to wear things that are form-fitting and look fantastic you address your age bud and 25 summer's here off by the way you will get with our exclusive link at trueclassic.com slash fighter how about that 25 percent off you can get jeans hoodies you can get t-shirts three six and nine packs okay? but the summer is here so start your summer off looking fresh they the, they got the classic crew t-shirt it's my favorite tee for sunny days Get you, that all the, the thick charm. boy merch is all classic. Yep. True classics, yep. the best. Classic polo t shirts, a crisp design, lightweight feel. It's fantastic. Dude, the classic polo shirts for them barbecues, those family mm -hmm. barbecues. Summer is here. Don't look like a schmuck. Look like a classic, Update true classic. Update your closet, man. man. Update your closet. Your closet. Your closet. Hell yeah, dude. Update your closet with trueclassic.com slash fighter. Save 25% of your first order. Discover the perfect blend of summer vibes and timeless elegance. True Classic. Shop now. So I'm sure we'll get news fairly soon because Dana, you know, Dana has his ear to the ground. He knows everyone's speculating stuff like that. And if it was a straight up break and, and they were going to pull Connor, we would, we would know by That's now. That's it. We'd know by now. It, maybe it's a wait and see. They're trying to figure out what's really going on. You know, no, I, was, the, 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 I I think they know. I just, yeah, I, you know what? You might be right. They might be like, let's, because Connor might be like, I'm fine. And then who knows how bad it is. And some doctor's like, he's, dude, if he does this and it breaks whatever fully, we're screwed. And the UFC's like, man, we can't risk a main event and you, in the first round, you step wrong or you go to kick and your fucking foot falls Well, off. one of the things, that, exactly. One of the things I've, I've talked to so many guys from Tiago Alves, Mike Brown, guys who are coaches, guys who are fighters, Colby, whoever it might be, you're always dealing with some kind of an injury. Well, I told always, you that. Right? I mean, you're always dealing with some kind of pain. You're always dealing with something that's not working. And the fans don't know. The fighters don't say they that. Don't they know. No one tells you that. Yeah. A, but that's an important opponents. point, too, about com being a competitor at the highest level. Competitors at the highest level, people say, well, I could do this, that, and the other thing. That's cool. Can you do that with a trick knee? Can you do that with a neck that's tweaked? Can you do that with three things going wrong, you know? There's so many issues like that and sucking weight. Buddy, think about this. Francis Ngano had a torn, I think, ACL, MCL. What? His knee was completely torn. What? He was going to pull out the fight. He still fought Cyril Gaon and wrestled him. <laughs> so two things there. Man, Francis is a badass. Holy shit, Cyril Gaon's wrestling is bad. Right? <laughs> Those are your two takeaways. <laughs> Holy shit, he beat you with one leg? Yeah. Jesus, dude. Yeah, that's hilarious. But fighters fight. Think about that. Think about Kamar Usman. Think about Kobe Covington in the, in the fights. I mean, the, the list goes on. Kamar Usman's guys. knees are so bad, he can't what, walk downstairs and shit? Yeah, there's one, there's I one fight. I think the first fight with Leon, he didn't train for like three or four weeks leading up to the fight. He couldn't. He was injured. Jeez. And his mental strength, he still took the fight and won. Monster. Wild, right? Monster. Yeah. You guys deal with it all the time, all the time. All the, but the, we don't hear wrong. about it. Yeah. So then this comes from Connor. Maybe he don't want to show up to the press conference limping or on crutches. He's like, don't worry. This will be done by the time we get to the fight. I'm canceling everything because I want to keep it under wraps. Mm. The other thing, remember too, at this level, let's say it's a foot injury on the, on his front foot or a knee injury. Well, Chandler is going to go, okay, let's change up the game plan. That that's injured. They're going to go for that. They were so you got to hide they, they, all They were talking to the U S Olympic, um, gymnastics coach for men and women and uh from prison for molestation or no, no 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 this that's that's larry nasser who's the doctor yeah they're talking about the, the, general, the, right? the coach and he said um they said what's one of the biggest challenges he goes keeping my athletes injury free and he said that's why when we warm up and when we work out it looks so boring like the shit that we do on, at the Olympic level to keep our athletes as healthy as we possibly can because the amount of stuff you're doing. But it also that, like, yeah, it's gymnastics, but that's sports in general. Well, that's, how about, that's but, every sport. But gymnastics sport. is one thing. Wrestling, jujitsu, boxing, where shit just happens, where things go wrong because you get hit, your knee, whatever it might be. But again, that, that, it's literally every sport. Football. Like football. Basketball. They say that the injury rate in the NFL is almost 100%. Like somebody, everybody oh, on that course. field's got something going on. Of course. On. Yeah, no one's ever a hundo. No one ever. Isn't that crazy? College, never. It's just sports. Yeah. Sports. It's just sports. Sports. 
You're so I think I think with Connor, it's like body. you know it, because you know all his outside the octagon shenanigans, it's easy for us to come to this wild conclusion. Oh, it's drugs or this. Or I I just think this is run of the mill shit. Run-of-the-mill but shit. you're dealing with the, he's also getting older. You're also dealing with the most famous guy in the UFC, so yeah. it becomes this huge deal. And I you're think, getting. You're I think getting, all signs point to he's going to fight. Yeah. Again, the the biggest red flag is Chandler knows something we don't, and he left camp, and that's alarming. That's what worries me. Because why would he leave camp if the fight's less than a month? You know, ago? I was walking. I, w- I had uh, lunch with Mike Brown and Tiago, and Mike was Mike is was a champion in his own right. WC, yeah. Yep, and and watching Mike, I was walking with Mike, and Mike's a lot younger than me, and dude, he was just he was shuffling, and I was like. Hey, bro, what's up, man? You look a little calcified. He goes, yeah, you know, it's just some injuries. Oh, yeah. Well, then he went through the injuries, the, the, like the number of knee and neck and back, and I was like, oh, my fucking God. You ever seen Dan Hendo walk around? He it's, looks like he's made um, out of wood. Yeah. And then he gets in the octagon. You then he gets in the octagon, he can kind of, you know, yeah. warms up, gets it done. Yeah. Your body takes it. Your body just takes it. Just how it goes. Yeah. Sports. Yeah. But if I had to bet, I bet Connor shows up. End of the day, I bet he shows up. End of the day, he's a fighter's fighter. Would you, uh, would you, are you very excited about the Bilal Muhammad fight? I still contend that Bilal will get, that, that every Muslim in the, in the waking world will be watching this fight. That's what I say. So we have a bet on that. And, yeah, we do. And how many Muslims are there in the world? Oh, over, oh, well over a billion. So it'll be the most watched fight of all time, according to your stats. It'll be watched. A billion, over a billion. Hey, that's don't, our bet. I how didn't stupid. Say, is I that? didn't say a billion. You just said all. I said there's going to be Waking a lot. Muslims. 1.9 billion Muslims. Okay, so let's take half of that. Let's just be. You know, let's do, well, we so can't half take half, but it's going to be a lot. Yeah, but you got to give me a number. That's like saying there's going to be a lot of people that watch it. Let's bet. I'm saying that the the, the pay per view numbers are going to be off the charts, not just because Connor and Chandler. A lot of people are going to watch well, from below. But you know that Connor and Chandler are a different card, right? Oh, that's right. You fuck. sorry, sorry. Sorry, yeah, that's right. 304. They're 304. That, that, and, that's, and that's on a different continent, right? Mm. Saudi Arabia. Now, here's my question. No, no, bitch. No, dude, it's in Manchester. Manchester? Yeah, bro. I didn't know that. I thought it was in Saudi Arabia. 304s? See where 304 is. The card that Leon's fighting on mm-hmm. is in Manchester, England. Saudi Arabia fight is a fight night on ABC. Hold on. And it's Hold in the on. middle of the afternoon. It's Manchester, Saudi Arabia. There it is, right there. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there it is. Four Manchester. It's, no, so I, what I meant was, but okay, let, they're gonna. It's Manchester, but it's in on Saudi time. That's what I meant. No, you're, you're mm-hmm. the internet in a nutshell. Let's just go through this. So you thought Leon and Bilal were fighting the same card, and you're no, st- I didn't. you said I, you're still I, I excited saw for that, it. I saw that. And then you thought they're Tom, fight- Tom Aspinall. Yep, and then you thought they were fighting Saudi Arabia. I did think they were fighting Saudi Arabia because right. Bilal. Well, well. Yeah, did think that. Manchester. And he's fighting Leon Edwards, so you thought the champ would go now, to his Now, is Leon backyard. from Manchester? Is that his hometown? I think he's from, he might be from Liverpool. Close. Um, let me see. Birmingham. It's all in the same area. Manchester and Birmingham are I mean, very close. Yeah, I mean, England general's not huge. No. But that's, uh, he's going to have a home crowd there. Let's take another break, because we go on fishing, and it's Oh, dude, up. this is my summer vacation. Oh, dude. You know, tea's coming. No way. Yep. You're kidding me. T's coming. You're bringing your boy. Yep. That's great. T's coming. Sportsman's Cove Lodge, sports fishing out of Southeast Alaska called the Sportsman's Cove Lodge. Fish five boats with six guests to a boat, a guided deep sea excursions for salmon, halibut, and several other species. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Dude, I'm only going to catch big fish. I'm there to watch Chin. He, Chin might get arrested for murdering so many fish. I understand. They have three I to one wait. angler to crew ratio. They got a one to one staff to guest ratio. For excellent hospitality and experience. Food is the best in the industry. It's all locally sourced. Alaska's Best Lodge.com. They're currently running a sale of $800 off any June dates. Discount code is TFATK at checkout for 10% off your first trip. Limit of six slots per person. Buy one, get one. Limit of one per person. Very limited ability. They got they got slots from June 29th to July 2nd, Ju- July 6th to July 9th, July 9th to July 13th. Take your pick. Uh, do you are you, UFC needs? I mean, it would be such a letdown if Conor didn't fight. It'd be heartbreaking. Yeah, man. Heartbreak. It would ruin. My, it, it in the as far as sports goes. I mean, one 
guy isn't going to ruin my life, but it, it would, as far as the UFC goes, that would be heartbreaking. Yeah. And here's the other thing. You, we don't know what version of Connor we're getting either. He's been out a hot second. He looked pretty good against Dustin until his leg fell off. Yeah, he did. He looked he pretty did damn look, good. He, did, he, did, he really did. But again, it's been a hot second. Yeah. We see all this stuff going on. You know, he's partying. He's just, he's, he's a lot older. You know, he's older. So we he, he, again, you don't know what version you're getting. That's right. There's a lot of lot of questions, mm -hmm. right? That's what makes it fun. Well, yeah. if he comes out and it's he looks the best he's ever looked, knocks him out. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, UFC's Huge. back on fire. Oh my god! Not that they're not killing it now. They're the biggest they've ever been. But you have Connor winning. You, you Remember, think, Connor hasn't won in a hot. And then you think you think if he does, hit. just say just say he beats Chamber, which is a big you know it's a big if. He um, fight Leon Edwards at seventy. He would fight Leon Edwards. He wouldn't fight this fight. This fight's at seventy. Yeah. So he would not go to Makachev. He wouldn't cut weight. No, mm. I think he'd fight. Uh, really? Yeah, and it's a better matchup for him. Well, that's a tough one for him. It's striking though. He doesn't have to worry about the wrestling. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be striking a, a bigger man in Leon Edwards. You'd rather wrestle Makachev? Oh, fuck no. And you're Connor? Fuck. We've already gone down that road. That wouldn't be so fun. Yeah, it's, it's a better fight, I guess. Yeah. I mean, you got a better chance. Yeah, not even close. Standing in back. Yeah, not even close. Yeah, because yeah, once, once that there's no chance. Once Makachev grabs a hold of you, we'll see you later. I mean, but Dustin was able to to yes, tear it, so yes, we'll see. Was. But yeah, again, it, I mean, it's not even close. Uh, Leon Edwards matches up better for Connor. Yeah, they would give Connor a title fight, and Leon wants that fight. He's already asked for it. Sure. So if he wins, let's do it. Everyone wants to. And the UFC wants Connor as the champ. Yeah. <laughs> Leon Con has to win against Bilal though first. For sure. Yeah. To, that's a that's well, a hold that's on. Not an easy but fight. Even before that, forget Bilal Leon. Connor has to yes. fight. We're talking about him not even fighting that yeah. as well. And yeah. then he has to beat Michael Chandler. Yeah. Once that happens, then we can discuss the rest. Correct. But that's the biggest question mark. It doesn't even make it to the octagon. Yeah, UFC's not announcing for a reason. But if he was out, out, we would know that card is fucking tasty. Um, that Tom Aspinall yeah. Curtis Blades fight. Great fight. That's a great fight. That's going to be exciting. Great fight. Bobby Green, Patty's fucking great too. Bobby Green is a guy who, for the most part, has avoided a lot of damage. He's hard to put your hands on. And he's just fun to watch. That's going to be a fun fight. Actually. He's fun to watch. That'll be a fun fight. His one fight though, Bri, he got I know messed he did. up. He's taking a lot of damage. damage. Yeah. I wouldn't. That, but, that was I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. but, but overall, he's, oh, he's been pretty good yeah. at, you know, Oh, Jalen Turner, yeah, yeah. that's one. The Drew Dober one's tough. The Islam Akchev one's tough. Uh, the Fazeev one Oof. was tough. I forgot about Islam. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There we are. All exciting, man. All exciting. I'm pumped. Dude, I was on TikTok this morning. I don't know what it was. I was up at 4.30. I, I got my TikTok. My TikTok's all dad stuff, cars. And then old King of the Sting clips for whatever. That's my algorithm, mm. dude. This dad thing on there, boy, it will get you choked up. Yes, this guy that makes these, dude, bro, bro. Did you see? Did you I, see? Dude, I was. I I had tears in. I'm I'm talking heart cry in the morning by myself. It will get you, dude. Uh, yeah, well, when it comes to the kiddos. Now his 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 Instagram's not as good as his TikTok. His TikTok, I think it's a. Uh, uh, is it struggling, Dad? Go. It's. A, I. I did it as a story. Keep going. Keep going. This one. What Tired going? dad entrepreneur. Go to his TikTok though, bro. His TikTok. If you're a dad, oh, so this much. thing. Uh, but you, 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 the the music's what gets you yeah. too. The fucking music, dude. The music did will you see, get you. Before you play this, did you see? I want to play this too. Did you see Robert De Niro? With Bradley Cooper and David O. Russell, they did Silver Linings Playbook. Remember that? Yeah. And David O. Russell, I guess, has a, a troubled son. Meaning? You know? Drug uh, addict or he, had, I he don't was know. born with a disability? Probably, I don't know. I, I know David. I've met David several times and I'm a huge fan. I don't know anything about his. He's a good man. I don't know. But it was really wild because De Niro, and, and you got to see the clip because De Niro they said, do you, do you, do you uh, feel like, do you understand, you know, 
what he was writing about. And De Niro goes, I understand exactly what he's going, you know, and, and he started crying. Like he couldn't talk. He was like, he was like, mm, yeah. Mm. And he goes, sorry to get emotional, but I know exactly what he's going through because he has a son. And I was like, I, man, it was like, it'll when you have you. a kid, dude. Ooh, it'll get you. It, do, if, if, if you're a dad, follow, follow this TikTok. It's fantastic. If you're up just in the morning by dad? yourself, dude, it's just tired dad. His TikTok, it will pull at the heartstrings, dude. It's the, you got, we got to have the music. I've been writing about this a little bit. And one thing, yeah, let me see this. Four, wow. I've been, I've been writing about this because so, one of the things about being a dad is you're expected to solve all the problems yeah, and shut the fuck but up, turn, you know? Turn it up. There's a bunch of them, though. Get you. He's hugging the kiddos. Can you explain it for the audio listeners? <laughs> yeah, so it says, I saw a study that said most children don't have memories until the, after the age of four, uh, which means all these sweet, happy moments are literally gifts just for us, mm -hmm. meaning dads. Slow down and enjoy There's it. nothing I enjoy more. Oof. There's nothing I enjoy more. Honestly. That was even the one that, I, that one would have got me this morning, but the, the one I was, uh, it's another one of the kids like that. Same all, guy, right? All, yeah, same page. Let me know if you see it. Yeah, man. It's is a dad oh, you're is. expected to there solve the problems and, yep. and you know. Mm. This one got this is the one that made me cry. Yeah. Dude. Dude. Bro. Well, if I, you don't have kids, you're probably like, what the fuck do nah, I know. It's, Please explain for the audio. Well, so, 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 so one of the things I would so, say. On, B, so yeah. it says, uh, it, this one, it's playing video of the dad hugging his kids. It's clearly in the morning. They're both in their jammies. And the dads, wait, they just woke up, came downstairs, says, uh, we saw a quote, your fatherhood will outlive you and live inside your children forever. And he says, and I can't unfeel that. Oof. Yeah, and yesterday, the, the thing with T, it's not, you know, there's some crazy dads out there like, oh, my kid's going to play for the Padres or, you know, the Cardinals. But fuck all that. I, I, it has nothing to do with that. I, that, I don't even think about that stuff. Because the odds of any of these kids on that team yesterday, and they're all the best kids in the Valley, the chance of any of them going pro is less than 1%. So much luck goes into it. There's, who knows where they're going to yeah. be in five years, six years. There's yeah. so much that goes into yeah. it. I know this more than a lot of the public out there. It's, it's, in, it's damn near impossible to go pro. I don't care about any of that. But you have to realize, last summer... T didn't touch a baseball. He's never played baseball. He's never played baseball. He's never touched a fucking baseball bat. He goes, Dad, I want to play baseball. I want to make the team. So I look up in our local area. I find out they have tryouts at this local little league. I don't know anything about it. I, we drive past it. Even driving past it, I didn't recognize it. And uh, so I look it up. I see tryouts. I go, Bud, tryouts is two months away. And these kids were probably pretty good. And he goes, okay, can you help me? I go, yep, I can help you. So remember, I canceled my Europe tour. Mm -hmm. I canceled everything. I go, bud, here's the thing. I'm down to do this if you commit for the summer. Your buddies are going to be in summer camps. They're going to be at the ocean. They're going to be going on vacations. But if you want to play baseball, we're not doing any of that. I said, what we're going to do, you and I are going to train five to six days a week. Nothing crazy, but you're going to learn the game of baseball. I'm going to get some help, and then you and I are going to work, dude. We're running sprints. You're waking up early. You're going to eat right, and we're going to get after it. He goes, all right, Dad, let's do it. This is what he wanted to do. I committed to him for that summer. He made the team. He made the team. The first two days was a nightmare. I'm like, ah, oh, man, it's tough. He hasn't played baseball. And then he started to get the hang of it. Then he started to get the hang of it. Then they, he made the team. And then that short amount of time, then he's MVP of the team. I'm like, all right, well, he's having fun, you know, but he's wild, whatever. And then here we are now. Hasn't picked, didn't pick up a bat. It'll be one year, I think, uh, next week. We'll be one year him playing baseball. Now he's, you know, he's on that all-star travel team. He's mm -hmm. one of the top kids in the district. Yep. You know, from that to that. So when I say I'm crying, it's not because he threw a no hitter and, he, you know, he, had, he went three for four against these studs. None of that. Before the game, he goes, Dad, uh, he goes, um, he goes, he loves Shake Shack. He goes, Dad, can we go to Shake Shack if I pitch well? And I go, bud, bud, I don't care if you pitch well. That's what you don't understand. I don't care if you get five hits, five home runs, no hitters. I just want you to have fun 
And most of all, I want you to out hustle all these fucking kids. Mm. I don't care if you fucking go five for five, but if you have a bad attitude and you don't outwork everybody, then I'm upset. Mm. All I care is you represent the shop family on your back. You fucking outwork every kid out here. And I don't care what the rest, whatever happens. Now, I know saying that if he just busts his ass out there with his athletic abilities, he's going to do pretty fucking well. Mm. So I don't need to tell him, make sure your elbow's up, make sure this, none of that. Just try your hardest and we're good, dude. So the, there's games where he has bad games. We still go out to eat because they had a positive attitude. He hustled his ass off. Mm -hmm. But as long as you try your hardest and you bust your ass, and I don't tell him this, but with your talent and your skill set, dude, you can go pretty fucking far. That's mm -hmm. all I need. And yesterday he did that. He ran everywhere, man. Sweating right. after the game. No hitter. No hitter. You made some nice cry. And he, he, and he came up to me and goes, Dad, I'm starting pitcher. In my head, I went, oh, fuck. Because the kids are really good, and yeah. me and him haven't worked out. Because usually it's a repetition. He has to, you know, he he, he he's never been taught. Pressure. He's never been taught to pitch, dude. He has no professional training in pitching. There's a lot that goes into pitching. Oh yeah, bro. And I have a I, I'll post a picture of him. He's in his outfit, and I got him these cleats. You know, he doesn't really care about the cleats. I do, and I wrote his name on them. It's tough. Talk about mm -hmm. it's, it's tough. But I was just looking, I'm like, holy fuck, dude. Look at this little dude, man. Yeah. And then does this thing, you know? It's kids, bro. It's There's nothing that gets you more. And for those of you out there that don't have kids, dude, I've had, I could die tomorrow. I've had a great fucking life. I've had, I'm a cat. I've had nine lives career-wise. I played football and it, uh, it was such a good time. I was in the UFC, oh my God, the things I did, it was so cool. Stand up, are you joking me, dude? Oh my God, some of the best times ever. I'm so lucky. I've done cool shit. I've done cool shit with this guy. Mm. <laughs> We've done cool shit. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing is better. It's true. Than that. It's true. Sorry. It's, it's worth crying over. Yep. It's, I'm just it's, happy. It's, it's the only thing that, yeah. It's the only thing that gets me going, too. I'm just happy. That's amazing. Can That's you, amazing, dude. Mm, can you Talk realize you're passion. doing something right? You yeah. realize you're doing something right as a dad? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Everything else is so, and he's a good kid. Everything else is so hard, full of failure. But when you when you got a kid like that, you know when when you when you when you take care of your kid, you teach your kid things, and you watch them growing and getting better. In this crazy it, world, there's no failure. It's like you're you're. It's all love. Yep. Right. And in this crazy world, you have, like the world's on fire, and you're worried. Oh, is he going to get into this? Is he going to get into this? Yeah, man. And what? We'll, like when we went to San you Diego, it's okay when you're together. Oh yeah. You know you you realize that the failures and and the successes. As long as you're with your kid, that's all that matters. The the bond that you create and watching them grow and yeah, those memories that you're creating. That's friends. It's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, even when we're in that's San it. Diego, we're at the restaurant and T was like, Oh, I need uh he needs some ketchup or some bullshit for his fries. And I was like, Yeah, go get it, dude. And some guy came over and he's like, Is this your son? I'm like, Yeah, man. He's like, dude, he is so polite. He said, Please, thank you. Great? I'm like, Yeah. Yeah. How's that not expected? That's yeah. not a joke either. T is so polite. Yeah. He's yep. so like anytime he's here, I'm just always and I've told him, I've told Joanna, like, I'm so impressed by this kid. Yeah. He's not a whiner. He doesn't like no. scream for his dad. Like he gets like, wait a second. Like yeah. he's just so well, Joe sweet. Joe doesn't take any bullshit either. She's strict, yeah. Uh, Joe's like, there's there's a way to behave and there's no confusion about that with Joe. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, that's cool. Play with your dad. There are also certain ways we behave. Yeah. And that's super the way strict. it is. That's yeah, how my wife is strict. with my kids. Super there strict. are just certain things she was raised with, and you're not stepping out of those. Me, I'm loosey goosey guy. Not with not with my wife. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, like, I'm loosey goosey in every aspect of life with that mm -hmm. stuff in, 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 until it comes to sports. Yeah. If you're going to do it, dude, you better fucking do it. Yeah. I put a lot of pressure on him, you know? Yeah, but look at it. It's great.
And, and what some kids thrive with that. He thrives. He, Tiger has to have discipline because if you give, you know, he has to have it. Yeah. Like the strict boundaries, and he just thrives with that. And his teachers say the same thing. And then, but also, and I say this too. It's like again, I have no baseball background. Played a little bit, but as far as like the the coaches stuff, it's I have no baseball background, mm. dude. And again, that's why I can't leave California. And I'm sure there's other areas. Like the the network, the the families, like that little league group people, I found, right? dude. Great people, bro. The best people. Aren't the, they? The, those dads, blue collar, middle class, working people. The best. The best people, right? Uh, people dude, don't. That, that's the thing. I won the you, lottery. The biggest I gift won the is lottery. that. I won I was the lottery. Te- wasn't I telling you that when watching when that to, shit in Florida? When you came back from Florida, and you, yeah, and you were I like, "I told you, I, went, I have that here." You had that here, and I was like, "Dude, there's nothing better than that." And all the kids, because it's all families, and all the kids are just like Tiger. God, like, they're all the same. God, little savages. God, and we don't like that. Like this team, that this All Star team that he's on. They practice once a week for like three or four hours. That's just once a week. That's not enough. So the way those kids are getting better by the dads, all of them have great dads. Wow. So because wow. you get left in the dust. Yeah. So when, so we practice once a week and then they'll have a scrimmage or a game or a tournament coming up. But the rest of the weeks, that's why I mean, Tiger, when you're like, what are you doing? I'm like, we're at the cages. We're like, because he's getting better. He might not have the official practice, but outside of his practice, we're working. Mm. And Tiger knows summer. He goes, Dad, summertime. I'm There's like, yep. More that means right? we get to work, bud. Yeah. But I, I tell him, I said, dude, you choose. And again, this isn't me pushing him. I don't. I didn't even like baseball before this. I'm obsessed with baseball. I was like, if you do this, we, we're all in. And also, again, it. And, and sometimes it's gonna suck. You're not gonna want to do it. You're gonna see pictures and your buddies on vacations and they're at Disneyland. Sure. And we don't. We don't do that stuff. But you know, it's better than that. Doing no hitters, hitting home runs, like that's what he likes. Making it on the Dodgers. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, baseball's tough. That's a long ways away. Yeah, let's just get through this. That's great, season. dude. I love that. Nothing love hearing better. that. And then yeah, the, that, that, that De Niro. And remember, this is only this is only a fifteen year window, bud. Yeah, that's why when that's talking right. about appreciating the moments, you got fi- basically fifteen, sixteen years of this. Yep. Yeah, that, and it's going to be the greatest time in your life as a dad. If you put the work in, it will be the greatest thing you ever do. You have 16 years, basically, till they move the fuck out. You have Dude, 16 years to embrace this, and then deeply, it goes away. Feeling that deeply, too, and caring about something. It's always like that. My buddy Sam um, Sheridan said that you define love in, in one way, which is somebody else's happiness is more important than your own. And that's what it is to have a family and kids. And for that matter, sometimes. And what's dope is I'm going through this with Tiger, but the real baller is the little one. I was about to say. Bosty is an absolute say, a, fucking a, savage. There's a little giant waiting. There's a little guy with mitts who's been practicing with his brother. Oh, boy. And can already hit at four. Oh, boy. And doesn't need a T. Oh, boy. So as much as T's this little monster, in my head, I go, oh, I get to do this again. Oh, man. Yes! Wow, he's just waiting in the wings. And who knows? Maybe her daughter, be big lesbian, Brenda. Hey, softball, hey, hey, hey. softball. And I get to a third time. Yeah, third time, but with a chick. She might be a big. She has a mullet. Guy. There you go. Nothing wrong. It's with like, that hey, mullet. Dad. <laughs> like, hey. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. I fart loud and I fart hard and I fart proud. Hey, Dad, hit some doubles oh, today. There you like, go. Oh my God. There it is. Holy shit. Yep. That's it. Oh my God. Yeah. Is this? Is, can you see my bulge in these pants, Dad? Hey, Dad, I know you called me Billy. You might just call me Bill from now on. <laughs> Damn, that's the, you're projecting, bro. My, my that's girl, a deep voice. My girlfriend Tiffany's taking me to practice. I don't need a ride. Hey, Brendan, how come how come Billy's got a goatee? What's yeah. going on over there? She's on hormones, man. She's on hormones. Oh, she got my TRT at seven. <laughs> she fucking stealing your... Did she found my Are you TRT? you pinching my TRT? Yeah. All uh, right. Hey, get, it's just, Bill. Just bring up... We don't have to. I was going to say bring up that De Niro clip, but we're, we've already done it. I was good. Uh, can you describe exactly? It's just De Niro, Bradley Cooper, and David O. Russell. You might be able to find This is the De Niro I like. When he's walking with Biden and fucking talking shit about Trump. Yeah, like, oh, why? Yeah, yeah. Why pick sides? And the last and, name? Uh, and, and yeah, th- there it is. The, so De- Robert De Niro, Bradley Cooper, Silver Linings. It might be that. Hold on, hold on. What's the last uh, last and then, and then David or Russell? David Russell? Oh, David O. Russell. O. Russell. Great. You just keep adding names. Uh, type in Wesley film. Snipes, <laughs> uh, Morgan Freeman. Uh, yeah. Is it that one down there? Might be. I don't know. 
Go the one that's 37 minutes long. <laughs> no, it's that's not just, that one. That's, that's just a clip of the movie. Yeah, it's not that one. It's not from the movie. They're actually interviewing. Yeah, they're right? actually interviewing. It's going to be tough to find. Yeah, it might be. It was, it was a clip. But I'm telling you, dad's just out go there. go down. Dad's oh, out there. there. If you want to cry, that might follow be. that. That might be it. Tired I'm dad. not sure you probably saw the, the part that you liked the most of it, but t- the actual clip? How about uh, this? That, that's it. Right. That's the one. It's a no, one no, no, clip. no, 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 no. Go back to the one up. The one up. You're oh, terrible. Man. You're the worst. You're that the worst. right there. Katie Couric? Yes. The fuck, man. Oh, you didn't say Katie what? Couric, though. I- I'm with Chin, though. You what the say, hell are you talking? You didn't say Katie Couric. I don't Couric. know, man. This isn't it. They were talking about he was there with um, Bradley Cooper. Oh, this might be it. Director, producer. Yeah. Of- Oh God! I don't like to get emotional, but I know exactly what he was doing. Now he's talking about the filmmaker of the movie, who's admitted that he has a son who has dealt with and struggled with bipolar. There he is. Oh, and so bipolar. Robert De Niro didn't delve into it, but he said he knows what he's going through, so we can only. I think she's sexy. That means that someone in his Katie family Cork. obviously struggles with the same thing. He is the on-screen. I could use some context. Anyway, that clip sucks. Yeah, yeah. That, that clip wasn't. Good. Yeah, that's because when you see him. So that's not the clip. Well, yeah, when you see him. No, that's him, the clip. Yeah. But that's uh, that's. Katie, well, you, you got to see him lead up to it. That's goes, whatever news station is yeah. like summarizing. Um, okay. Okay. He goes, yeah, I know exactly. He goes, I know exactly. And then he stops. And it was pretty wild. Just maybe one of his kids is bipolar. Dude, something. yeah. When you have kids, that's. Dude, How many I'll touch you. Does Robert De Niro have? Uh, 17. Uh, yeah, he's got That's why he keeps making those terrible movies. But, um. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> no. You know what you're uh, fuck. That's what you're you can't win in life, you know. Like <laughs> oh, you're your Niro, you still fuck up, and people. He's like, the greatest of all time. Like, and then my dumbass. Like, but it's so. But it's true his, though. His like young it's son's true. watching us. Like, he's like dad, what any, the fuck? Any, anybody out there who's trying for something, guys? Just I want, I'm 57. I want to tell you something. Anybody who's trying for stuff, you're gonna fail so much more than you succeed. And I, there's no way out of it. You're gonna fail so much more than you succeed. You're gonna take more than you've been given, and you're gonna say things you don't know. Of course. And, and you're gonna be wrong. That's podcasting. So much more than you are right. And, and here's it's the other just thing: the way it's, it is. it's just life, bro. It's life, but now because with social media, and you're gonna get reminded of that every day. <laughs> and, and, you'll, and you're gonna get yeah. a lot more shit for it than yeah. you used to back in the seventies. And you'll face destruction no matter who you are. You'll face chaos, and you just keep moving forward. <laughs> Let's take a little break here because you know what, dude? Sometimes you need a pre-workout for your wiener. Dude, it's tough though. You got the prescription pills. You got the gas oh, station pills. Headache. Oh yeah, that'll that, that'll really. I help. need all natural, backed by science. I need that joy mode for my joystick. Go to use joy mode. They make a natural, science-backed sexual wellness product. It's okay. a pre-workout, but for sex, dude. Yep, it's got wild. all kinds of things in it, created by best of in class. Best in class scientists with biochemistry PhDs. Again, it's it's backed by science and it's all natural and it's all overall healthy for you. It promotes blood flow to the penis. How about that? Okay, blood vessel and then in endothelial tissue health. Um, all you gotta do is, is you tear open the little packet. You put in six to eight ounces of water. 45 to 45 minutes to four hours prior to sexual activity and you're ready to go so if you're ready to spice things up in the bedroom and get that turbo boost for your wiener all you got to do is go to usejoymode.com slash fighter enter the code fighter at checkout for 20 percent off your first order that's usejoymode.com slash fighter 20 percent off your first order get your wiener right joy mode it's like this as a father too as a father you know i'm writing about this like you solve the problems nobody wants to hear about your emotional obstacles you you have a terminal disease get your life insurance in order and die quietly motherfucker (laughs) it's just it's just the way it is and it's okay it's okay dude again my tiktok algorithm i'm not on there a lot but i'm just like jesus christ who they think i am bad they kind of right but then it was like these guys talking it was like guys guys like like former like special forces guys and they're talking about what, and I was like, oh, because I've always thought the opposite. I'm like, I need to do better at opening up. And the guy was like, he was like, guys are taught in this modern age to share everything they're going through yeah. with their family, with their loved one, with their wife. And he's like, that's not what guys do. No. He's like, because then you're putting the burden on she them. She didn't want to hear that. He's like, you're putting the burden on them. He goes, and what happened was that now she's carrying your stress. But then also, because she's a mother, then she's going to be- view you different. 
He's like, not saying she's not going to still love you and care about you, but then she starts taking on your stress and then it becomes this weird motherly relationship, yes. not like a lover relationship. Correct. That's a really good point. Yeah. He was like, because he, he goes, he goes, he goes, think about when you come home and uh, if he goes, hey, babe, um, you know, when you be smart with the money, you cannot spend $50 at Starbucks every morning. Let's be smart. She goes, oh my God, are we broke? He's like, yes. no, we're not broke. Just be careful. But yeah. that alarms her. Of course. So he, he goes, but if I'm around like my group of guys, I'm like, yeah, man, he saved some money, man. You know, there's things are getting tight. My boys don't go, oh my God, are you broke? Yeah. Because they get it. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah don't spend that Now here's money. the tricky part. Your boys don't want to hear about your feelings. So you got to be careful with that. You can talk a little bit, but I don't have anybody I can really call. And that's okay. That's fine. Just suck it up and just move forward. Yeah, I think his point was like like the difference between like when he tells his friends like no, yeah, I, 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 I exactly got to tighten up and save yeah. for this. They're not like, dramatic. They're, they're not, not like oh to, my god, you're yeah. broke because they know because we've all we've yes, all done it. You yes, know. Yes, 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 yes. But yeah, if I tell my wife like, hey, let's not do this. She's like, oh, is there money trouble? It's like, no, man. No, no, no. no. I'm just saying, don't. Sure. It's, yeah. It was no, interesting. Yeah. Keep it. Keep it. Uh, keep it together. Because society get, tell you otherwise, yes. like, oh, share everything. Fuck off. Yeah, it's like, Fuck I don't off. think that's This is this ideal. overshare culture now where, I, like, it's, it's, it, I, I can talk about my mental health and all my, no, 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 dude, no, you got to get the job done, okay? And, yeah, you're going to go through some stuff, but get the job done. And, and also, by the way, when you are going through something, like, I woke up fucking last night at 2 in the morning, and I, I had this bad dream that something happened to my little baby. My, my son and I, you know, so you get those dark feelings. I just take that energy and literally put it into creating. I start writing and then I'll fall asleep. But you just have to learn how to control. You, you, you man, you, you stand sentry at the gates of your mind because but, shit but, will but come. But my other thing mind. with that, and again, I'm, I'm all, if people need help, definitely talk to somebody. But I think too, the oversharing like on social media and on podcasting, I'm all for it. And it was a fun experiment. My question for that is, how is that going for everyone? Yeah. Because I think suicide's higher than ever. Depression's higher than ever. Uh, medication's been prescribed higher than ever. Mm -hmm. How's that going for us oversharing everything? Yeah. How's society looking? Yeah. Does society look better or worse? Is mental health better or worse? Mm -hmm. I would say we're worse off than we because we're oversharing and yeah. sharing too much, you know? It's a, it's a good question. Cause then it's like then 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 the the sharks are circling. Yep. And it's like ah maybe, maybe I have it too. Mm -hmm. And then can all we all explain you know they start explaining it, we all start feeling feeling sorry for our stuff. That's right. You know the singer Halsey. Mm -hmm. Love she her. Just, she just came out. She has a new album, but she also just posted something like alluring to she's having health issues, but people don't know if it's mental health or physical. I know health. she struggled with some mental health stuff. Mm -hmm. She wrote like I'm lucky to be alive. Like you guys don't get it, but it's oh, like a. Boy. Here's here's, here's my thing with that. You yeah. said she had an album coming out. Exactly yeah. what I'm thinking right now. See yeah. that? See so this is my issue with all this mental health stuff. That stuff's real, and I know people that suffer from it, and mm -hmm. it's a straight up curse. I wish. That upon no, it's all people that actually struggle with it. It's fucking awful, yeah. awful. But then when what you, happens when you is it. people take advantage of that. And you, well, I've had depression. You've had depression. It, you know, I don't have clinical depression. I have family members with bipolar clinical depression. I know what that's like. But then when you're using it to capitalize or bring attention, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. The issue is now if you turn on any podcast. Most of the stand-up comics out there, now it's all this mental health, all this stuff, and it's like, whoa, yeah. dude, are you doing this because you're asking for help? Are you doing this so you get a certain fan base? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of guys that have taken advantage of that. They don't suffer from it, but they're using it as like a heel. Yep. Yep. Good point. It's such a yeah, fucking so I'm, bitch Brent, I'm with you as well. Like As far as oversharing, like when we talk to each other privately, I will share stuff that I'm going through. You guys will share stuff that you're yeah. going through. But if I'm putting on podcasts or even on Instagram, I say, like, I'm going through this right now. This When I see that, yeah. immediately I'm like, oh, you, you, want, you yeah. want attention. I agree with you, dude. Like, what, what are you Not doing? every single time, but I say to the majority Weird. of the time, they want attention. I agree with you. Because so many likes, so many comments. And especially and if attention. it's a repetitive thing. Oh, yeah. my like, God. If it's, a, if it's a like once a week, you're mm -hmm. what, you want yeah. Once a week? Yeah. And they post your dates after merch? Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah. It's irritating, man. Oh, man. I'm so sad right now. Go to slapdickcomedy.com. I'll be in Albany this weekend. Yeah. Like, hey. I might try that. 
Do it, dude. <laughs> I Guys, saw someone come to my show, or I will. No. I will hurt myself. Don't. <laughs> That's a good one. You funny. guys come to my show, or I, I'm going to hurt myself. And <laughs> this episode's getting flagged. It's like a South Park episode. And then oh, show pictures of my kids. Yeah, it's going to yeah. get flagged. Sorry. Someone just posted on my Instagram feed, like, had to disconnect from the world for a few days. I've been staying in the woods to reconnect to nature. I'm like, then why are you posting this? Oh, like, I don't buy this anymore. Oh, you know what I mean? Off. Like, fuck off. What, where it happened to just telling your friends, hey, I'm not doing so well. I need like help. All that but stuff like, is all that stuff is smoke and mirrors because you wrong. can capitalize on it and you can get a, a certain amount of people that actually struggle with it and can relate to it. But, it, you know. It, it's no different, you know. That's good. I it's, like that. Yeah, it's, it's no different oh when, God, when people, you. You, you'll see stop. trends. <laughs> you'll see <laughs> trends. And, and, and people will go on with it. You'll see trends. And this is a trend, but it's God, been around for a hot People don't come to my second. zany show Friday, Saturday, Sunday, stop. June 14, 15, 16. <laughs> it's not going to, I will fucking. Cry. I'm going to throw myself to the ground and I'm going to fucking scrape my knees up. And we don't want you to scrape your and knees. And that's on you, you fucks. Um. All right. the The problem is that, the problem is there's actual people out there that suffer from it, and exactly. they and they do post about it, which is all good. And the, do your thing if that helps you. God bless you, and I support that. The issue is the people taking advantage of it. I it's would just say, like anything. I would say people that are uh, not that famous sometimes they'll post something like I, I just want to end it, and they will en actually end it. Sometimes some Korean celebrities have done it, but yeah, yeah. the majority, tough. I would say, the majority are using it for there, there know, there to get attention. That, yeah, a lot of people that that end up harming themselves do tell people before that. They, they, yeah, they're they're then they they feel total despair, like they don't know what to do. But you guys have seen it on on Instagram, right? Where people will say like, "Oh, I'm going through this and that," and then. They get a ton of like, thank you so much for that. You know, it made me help. It helped me. But I'm like looking at him like. The next one's like an lights. ass shot in the gym. It's You're just like, God so, yeah. damn it. You guys can see through this. Right? Oh, I'm trying to be sensitive about this. Oh, but Jin, from the jump. Yeah, yeah. I remember when that, I know so that, many that people that tsunami that in Japan and those people are dead. And there was this girl who posted. She goes, she's literally in a cheese string and she's leaning over a fucking railing just showing her ass she's trying to bring happiness and she's like i just think about the world and how <laughs> sad i am about it's like man you must be really broken up but How's it brought that me ass? happiness yeah and i'm like no, all right no. what do you got jen <laughs> what a way to transition Can you swap these two? Can you that one? That one this one it's yeah. so annoying so you guys are talking about being a good dad I found this little clip and it just made me laugh so much. I want to know if you guys have dealt with something like this. And guess what? What? Well, I can't flip on my wiener. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't believe me? No, no. Sadly, I don't believe you. <laughs> well, it hurts. <laughs> sure it does. Take it off. Oh, well, you gotta see that. <laughs> no, you gotta see this. I'm not looking at that. So, no. <laughs> I'm not giving you one to put on your. <laughs> Have you guys dealt with boy stuff like this? Yeah, of course. Oh yeah. What is a chip? Clip, send that, please send no, that. What to is me a chip off. clip? Yeah. Uh, you know, to so to cut the the clip that to when oh, you open it back, bag? so it keeps. Yeah. Oh. When you wrap it, and he goes, Dad, can you bring me another one? <laughs> I've been so like absolutely not, but proud of you for having that big dick, dude. <laughs> put it on my penis. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, put it on my penis. You're not gonna believe this. I just love the so dad. Oh, sadly, I do believe you. That is so funny. I'm not gonna man. hate on this. I'm gonna let it go. But let's move on to the next one. That's so funny. So um, good. Okay. Uh, help me pronounce. Uh, oh, Valentina Shevchenko. Yeah, Valentina Shevchenko is love one her. of the new coaches on uh, Ultimate Fighter, and she has a rule where you can't drink water while training. So. so old school, but let's see what's let's going on here. Okay, so we can't actually play the clip I'm worried about. On Instagram? It's still UFC, though. So, on the training, we don't drink water. Nothing. So she's the uh, coach. She's a uh, With uh, Alexa Grasso. No, we know she's bad. The point is, is she's not letting professional athletes drink water. Yeah, is that okay? And it's not... She said before and after is fine. Before and after, but... When you do it during, it's it makes you weak, basically. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah, that's what she's saying though. I, and I would say if at that level, because those guys sh should all be guys and gals should all be professionals in there. If drinking water is a sign of weakness and they're focused on that and can't compete after that, it, they're not going to make it no matter what. So let them have water. If that's trust me, their mental toughness. If it's water that breaks their mental toughness, they're in the wrong business. 
So yeah, it's cool for the TV and the, you know, yeah, she's a it's badass. old school shit. It's super old school, and I I think some old school stuff is good, mm. and I, I get what she's doing. But that, man, water. They get, but even when I was in high school and, and Pee Wee, they, they'd be like, no water, it's a sign of weakness. And you're like, you want to stay I'm just fucking thirsty, dude. <laughs> yeah. I just ran. I'm seven. Yeah, you want to. Can I have some fucking Kool Aid yeah. or something? Yeah. You want to stay hydrated. And, and again, I, I think if they were younger, I get being like, hey guys, let's focus. We just had water. We're doing a drill now. Mm. But at this, you're talking, everyone in that household is, or in that competition is a pro. Mm. You think not giving them water is the difference maker? Like at that level, they're just not going to make it. Yeah. Don't forget, it's also reality TV. So it's probably fake. Hmm. Hmm. And also, you're dealing with guys that, I don't know, they're like, they probably applied for the show or guys or gals, and they might not give a fuck about Shevchenko. I guarantee, you, like, I'm drinking fucking water. Yeah. Has there been an Ultimate Fighter before where I, I don't watch the show where females are coaching men? I don't think so. Might be the first one. No, th no, there's been one uh, where there's males and females, right, Jen? Uh, there might have. I, I just don't Cause know. Because they had right. Ronda, Misha Tate, and there's some they guys they on do there. they do males and females, but you're saying that they're doing purely they're males? They're coaching men. Yeah, she's coaching a men's team. Oh, it's just all men? Mm -hmm. Oh, and So that might be a first. I don't know. First time. Mm -hmm. uh, what well, else good thing got? nobody's going to watch it. <laughs> Is it already out? I don't even know if it's already it, Yeah, I, I think <laughs> the first one, Dave, the, the ultimate, it's such a bummer, too. You know, that's where I got my start. I love that thing, but... You know, it just ran its course. Yeah. It's like when you find out there's 27 seasons of Dog the Bounty Hunter. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. There's been how many seasons of this? Look at this. Yeah. Elon Musk so. turned Twitter into X, and I was turning in X into triple X. Well, all yeah. he's saying is like free speech. You can do what you want to post. And so he's allowing porn on Twitter. And he's saying, yeah, if that's what they want to post, they can post it. But you can also set settings so it doesn't pop up on your feed. Mm. He said, we believe in the autonomy of adults to engage with and create content that reflects their own beliefs, desires, and experiences, including those related to sexuality. Wasn't this always the case? I thought Twitter allowed porn. No. No. I and thought they did, though. No. Not always. It would get banned. Yeah, it used to get it banned, says, and then people found ways around it. And then since he took over, like, I mean, I'll be scrolling. I'm, like, looking at Connor News, and it's like, oh, big black dick, keep going, keep going. Oh, really? It just pops up. I got to get on Twitter. I mean, ask. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It says X defines adult content as any consensually produced and distributed material depicting adult nudity or sexual behavior that is pornographic or intended to cause sexual arousal. Yeah. Also applies to AI generated things. Hmm. So it says they allowed porn when it was still on by Twitter ahead of its 2023. So maybe in 2023 they changed their policy. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Interesting. All right. It says about 13% of their posts are porn. That's a lot. Wow. But also, yeah, for parents, if your kids have Twitter, you better get on those, uh, you know, making sure it doesn't pop up yeah. on mm -hmm. there. You don't want your kids seeing a fucking DP, you know? Yeah. yeah. A Bukaki video. Mm. Okay. What else you got, Chin? Um, oh, dude, I don't want to talk before you go that, Chin. Dude, yeah. how, you know, Wednesday is, will be officially, unofficially our one. 1,000 episode? Once the 1,000th episode. I think we should use this uh, this to say, why don't you guys... Well, what we're going to do is uh, we're gonna, it's going to be a special episode. Obviously, 1,000 is cool. The, the, here's my thing with that is technically it's 1,000 on this platform. We're way over that. Way over that. Way over that. Way we over hit 1,000 a hot years ago, hot years which ago. is fine. But if this is the official 1,000, quote, unquote, so we are going to, it's going to be a very special show, special guest, and then we're going to do uh, open up to fan questions. And so now so send in your fan questions. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, you can put it. So we'll have a post on Instagram and you can also email uh, the fire and the kids shop at gmail.com. Submit your questions okay. there. And then as a team, we'll go through all the questions, whatever it is, 15, 20 of them. Good. Pick the 15, 20 best ones and answer some questions. Fire away. Make them good. I'm Make them go juicy. Pee. I have to pee. I got to pee myself. Here's another one for you guys. Uh, New York is pushing a bill that would restrict kids' addictive social media habits. But how? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. is, is it a thing kids can turn on and off? Like, is it like China where no, they have no. no choice? If you scroll down, it'll show you what the bill would propose. It's a good idea. I'm for it. Keep going. What this bill means for parents. There. 
prohibit social media companies from supplying al algorithm based addictive social media feeds to kids without parent consent. That's the issue. So that means you can turn it on and off. Well, this is nothing new. Kids without parent consent would still be able to access I mean, content fed to them by social companies. All right. It's a great idea. We give we parents. Did this with hold TV. on, B. Let's go through it, bud. Give parents the ability to pause uh, notifications on the kids' social media accounts between 12 and 6 a.m. Request social media companies to verify a user's age in a way that doesn't rely on a government. I mean, we've been doing this on TV forever with standards and practices. Okay. So, so people are like, oh, it's a free speech. Shut up. Like, you know, we didn't have sex on regular TV and bad language and all that stuff. I mean, you know, I, I have no problem. I think that's so long ago. Now it's, I mean, it's just. The, yeah, but I think kids social can media find is it. fucked. And I, and I think. Yeah, it's not I don't know what kids. they can do. Uh, but yeah, I don't know what they can do unless. You know, and then you're dealing with what China politics, but you know, China makes it like you can't turn it on and off. They can only do it this certain amount of times a day. Mm -hmm. They can only click through so many times. And the other thing is what China does is the kids are learning. It's like martial arts and sports and like healthy shit and mm -hmm. math on there. I, I think America's just, you know. Yeah. I, I, we're kind of fucked. To be uh, honest, we're kind of screwed. There's always it's on the parents. There's something and you got to do. It's, but it's such tough. it's already tough being a parent, but then now add in social uh, media to it. Wait till you see. Wait till the kids turn teenagers, like my kids. It's well, that's why that's why I'm glad they're not teenagers now, because by the time my kids are teenage, hopefully there's a little more kids realize how terrible it is. But right yeah. now, it's like the prime you know, time. The, 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 um, the Eric Schmidt, who was the CEO of what Google, and. Uh, Justin, no, oh, who's the actor uh, who's into tech? Um, uh, good looking guy, tall, married to Demi Moore. Oh, Ashton Kutcher. Ashton Kutcher, we're talking. The chat GPT, chat GPT 4, mm -hmm. or, yeah. There is now this new thing that is, f is it four or 40 times better in one way or another? And, and he said, what is that going to do about creativity, where it's able to create songs and all kinds of stuff? Like, well, think about your homework. The, the, the kid can just be like, all right, I have it's this nuts. project, and it's, it's going to knock it out for you. Yeah, it's nuts. It's going to get super dicey it's as dicey. far as kids. For, like with their homework, if they could just have access to this, and ChatGPT 1 could do your homework. Yeah. Think about by the time they're ChatGPT 60, yeah. they should be able to enter anything in. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be It's not good. There used to be a program we had to submit like all my college essays to that would go through and look for like plagiarism. Yeah, I got busted with that. <laughs> <laughs> essayworld.com. Shout to essayworld.com. Essayworld. 1999. That's good. I got busted. They catch you. It's hilarious. Yeah, they did get me. <laughs> oh, man. Super embarrassing. Super yeah. embarrassing. That is that is embarrassing. I told you that story, right? The no. professor sat me down. I just went to essayworld.com because I totally forgot. <laughs> Only time I cheated in college. <laughs> and uh, he was Brent, can I talk to you? And I was like, I was trying to get ahead of it. And I go, I know exactly what you're going to talk about. And he goes, yeah, I say it's good. I go, I know, I know. I spent a lot of time on it. And I, that's why I want to tell you, man. I spent a lot of time on this. He goes, cool, cool. He goes, didn't really sound like your words. I go, and I, I knew you were going to say that as well. My brother helped me out, you know, and he, he's at CSU up the street. So he helped me out on it. He goes, that's cool. Um, <laughs> what's this? And I was like, huh? He's like, what's this? I was like, that's my paper. And he goes, right, right. And what's this? And it was the exact printout from essayworld.com. He failed me. Give me an F right there. That was like three weeks into My God. Class. Yeah, I know. Super embarrassing. Jesus. Mm. And then he was taking like the whole class to a movie. I was like, can I still go to the movie? He goes, I think it's probably smart you don't come. <laughs> All right, well. That is fucking hilarious. Awful. Mm. It's the worst. So this guy sounds great. He uh, what is this? killed a lot of boys and young men. Hold on, hold on. Read the headline though. Ten thousand human remains found on serial serial killer's farm. This can't be America. Authorities are still identifying victims in Indiana, sir. Now, for years, a peaceful multi-million dollar farm in Indiana. That works. guy. Yeah, he looks great. Um, after thirty sick. years, after Baumeister killed himself while on the run from police, authorities are still sick. Hold up, said when hands. cops finally raided uh, Herb's eighteen-acre property in Westfield, north of Indy, they uncovered some ten thousand pieces of human remains. Well, so that doesn't I mean ten thousand. This was people. the guy who would pick up. Um, he would go to an army base and find guys who go were back drunk up and give them rides and give them beers. Uh, and teenage boys, uh, young men who had abducted and murdered from the 80s to the 90s. So yeah. he's dead. He killed himself. Keep going down, Chen. 
Yeah, he, I think it's, this is the guy Young who, gay man he, he met at bars, oh, it says. okay. Yeah, you're thinking of somebody else. Young gay, though, that's uh, Dahmer, bud. No, that's another guy, but wow. 10,000 body parts is a lot. He, oh, um, at least 25 people that he killed. Oh, my God. Can you go up for a sec? Damn, that's a lot of fucking serial people. killer. Oh, look at this, Robert Picton, who fought, who bought dozen brought dozen female victims to his pig farm dead after prison assault. They killed him in prison. Wow. Well, that's a shame. Ten thousand. Mm. How many bones are in the human body? Great question. We should know. Isn't it like 200 something? 206. Yes, 206. 206. Low 200s. What do you so think? So 10,000 is not. If he had 20, 206. But if he killed 25 people and all those bone fragments are there. 206. How'd you guys. Oh, serial killer stuff. But. Brian. I mean, I'm smart. But you know it was like 200, <clears throat> right? No, I didn't know. No. Really? How much <laughs> do you guys think? Oh my God. I don't know. What would you. Th what if you had to guess? 205. <laughs> like 150? I don't. How much? 150 bones? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, 206. He, I've never. Googled but if it's 200 and there's 10,000, that's you know, they, he killed well, 25. They, 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 they crushed a lot of. It's just crushed. That's bones. what I'm saying. Like you, the fingers. So and it's 10,000. That's a little bit. Like so you that's a headline there. People. Yeah. And that says he killed 25 people. I'm like yeah, that's right. Some people are so sick. Awful. That's Yikes. what they get off. Yeah. On. Awful. They get off on it like that fucking Picton scumbag, but he's dead now. Good. Yeah. Right. So there was a heated debate on first take the other day with oh, this Stephen A. Bad. Smith and uh, Monica McNutt. She's a basketball analyst. Um, we'll just play the clip. So, so this, this is, is what I'm saying, awkward. Y'all, and I know we got to go to break. And we didn't necessarily go there. Maybe we should. Look there Stephen are Smith. so many layers in this conversation around the way that it's being discussed. Kennedy Carter's behavior is not indicative of the entire league. We are still talking about competition where you are allowed to get a little extra elbow in if you are competing and you do it within the parameters of the game. The game is She's physical. Smart. Caitlin is helping to grow the league. These women understand that, but she cannot be babied as a rookie. That's all I'm at. Smart one. Who talks about the, who talks about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more? This is where it gets dicey. Stephen A., respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. They get him. Wow. All right. <laughs> wow. You know you're my show? guy, but who does more for the, the Stephen, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Wow. Don't do that. I'm talking to you about the oh, power that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. Okay. She's about to get fired. I got it. He runs yeah. ESPN. Yeah, but. You missed, my girl. But you've missed a lot of episodes the first day. You missed okay. a lot. Stephen, guys, three years ago, you were not talking about the W at this level. Don't do that. Guys, 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 guys. Molly's like, eject, eject. You Jeff, make please Stephen let me point. do my job. Please let me do my job. We've gone for 40 minutes straight. Look at Stephen A. Smith. So mad. Commercial break. I, what I love about the hey, WNBA. Stephen, Stephen's ego got a little cooked up there, but I like that woman. She was just making a point. It's all good. Uh, it's right? all, Or no, am I, right? am I off? Yeah, no. you, uh, you're a little woke. That's fine. But I think, too, here is uh, it's funny to watch WNBA. They finally have a star people are talking about. Yeah. Forget race. Yeah. Forget all that. Take all that out yeah, of yeah. it. Nobody was watching. You finally have one. Yeah. You finally have someone that could get the majority of America is white. Yeah. So they relate to a white girl, yes. and that's why they're tuning she's in. also very good. If you're the best college player of all time. Okay. So they want to act like she's not that's very good. Deal. She's the best college player of all time. Okay. She, you, you finally have a star. Yeah. yeah. And they're stabbing each other in the back. They're doing whatever they can to make sure Caitlyn doesn't shine. This is why you're not successful. Mm -hmm. It's not a, 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 and it's also not entertaining. But also, this is why you're not successful. The NBA doesn't do this. Yeah, mm. they raise each other up. Yeah, but the girls, they get all catty, and they're you know, I get roughing up a rookie. That's fine. But getting catty and then putting her down, making sure she doesn't shine, or getting jealous of her because she's getting so much attention. Yeah. Well, this is why you guys can't make money. Yeah. So, but the thing with Monica's point, like. Look, to, to harp on Stephen A, like no one's talking about, nobody was talking about the WMA. Nobody cared, now. and I didn't care. Nobody And I'll tell you something right? else. This is exactly what I'm saying, is that what Monica has to understand is that you're, it, 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 I'm going to talk about something if it's interesting. I'm going to watch something if it's interesting. Nobody was watching the WNBA. 
It was a, an ongoing joke. And that's why Stephen didn't cover that's, it. That's all. It was it, so, it so was you have news. to earn viewership. I don't I don't say I don't go, man, more people need to be talking about Brian Callen and coming to his shows and I'm a really good comic and why am I not selling out stadiums? Uh, well, that's because of a thousand reasons. And they're in my control, they're not in my control, but d don't blame someone else mm. for not talking about it or don't blame the business for not putting 57-year-old comics up on a pedestal. <laughs> Whatever it might be. It's like, I don't understand that kind of thing. You but, could have been talking about, it. there's an idea there which says we have to push female sports and women like soccer players should be getting paid as much as male soccer players. No, they shouldn't. You guys aren't as good. You're not as skilled, and nobody cares as much as they do about the World Cup with men. That's just the way but it also is. With, with you can blame misogyny, but that's also a fuck. That's also bullshit or racism. It's it's not true. But it's with, not as good. But with Clark too, it's like everyone makes it this racist thing. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. If 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 she was a black girl, would it get as uh, uh, as much attention? No, because that doesn't even hold water. water Brennan. No, it does though. But in this case, it does mm -hmm. because. Also, you gotta you gotta realize when when there's stars, the reason they're stars is people can relate to them. They see something in they're part of their tribe. It's not a racism thing. It's not that the the white people hate black people. No, no, it's just oh, this is a young white girl from Iowa and she's the best. The majority of America is white. Those are the numbers. So you have a much bigger population tuning in because they relate to that having, person's Bubba, color. Having said that, though. The biggest stars in the NBA that are that appeal to white people are black. So at the same time, if you have skills like Michael Jordan, if you have skills like LeBron James, if you have skills like Kobe Bryant, white people are going to tune the fuck in and freak out over watching you, and you're going to make all the money because you're also really good. So some of that's also there too. So so much of it with sports, what's beautiful about sports is people aren't really seeing color. What they're seeing is their team and the best I disagree. Guys I disagree. I think people do see color, but it's not a racist thing. It's someone that you identify and you can relate to. So with Caitlyn, real quick, just so we're all clear here, Caitlyn is by f no means the best player in the WNBA. There's been better players than WB, way better. There's been superstars. Why weren't you paying attention? Where's your jersey? Why weren't you talking about it? The reason, because Caitlyn is a young white girl dominating, and the majority of America is white, and they go, oh, that's cool. That's cool, because usually white girls don't dominate. White dudes don't dominate. It's an anomaly. It's an anomaly. It's rare, but also it's the population size. It's not a racist thing. Yeah. It's like when you see a white Christian McCaffrey. A lot of white people, yeah, fuck, that's cool. He's so good. He's good. Oh, fuck, that's cool. But they'll go, oh, the only reason his jersey sounds so much is because he's white. Yeah, it, there's a lot of, why is, that's like being upset Yao Ming's jersey was the best-selling jersey, or he's the most voted all-star in the NBA. Correct. There's a lot of fucking Chinese people that identify with Yao Ming. He's from their tribe. It's not that all Chinese people hate white people. He's in their tribe. The white people bought Steve Nash jerseys. The Chinese people bought Yao Ming jerseys. They look like him. That's how it works. They also bought Kobe jerseys. They also bought Jordan jerseys. Definitely, but it, I think what Brendan's saying, like, it's yeah. just the people that stand out. Just like yeah. Shohei right now. Shohei's a Japanese guy, right? Yeah. That's not typically sure. like, you know. No. Yeah, so yeah. he's he's blowing up bigger than anyone else. Yep. Because, again, that, that culture, can re they see that and like, Joe holy Coy, fuck, Joe one Coy, of us made it. Joe Coy has the Filipino market, the Asian market. They, they freak out. It's, he's also a great comic, but I'm saying. Uh, no, I'm just saying, like, people look at outliers as special, right? Even, like, the professor. Remember he did Streetball? And yes, he's a white, white dude, boy. You would never expect him to do If he was black, it's not a, it's, it's just. Yeah, it's right. just a standout kind of thing. Yeah. It's, it's not a, even, like. It, it's these outliers. It's these yeah, outliers. And then the, 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 the like-minded people identify with it. The same color go, holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> You know, holy fuck! A good example of that is if you go to a comedian Max Amini's Instagram, Persian. You're right, but if you go to his Persian Instagram, he has two. He has more followers, like four point four on 100%. the Persian one, and less on his main Instagram. Yes. Well, that's racist. No, it's like, but that's it's what trauma. people would say. It's like <laughs> no, the <laughs> Armenians have someone that has a voice. Yeah. They relate to him because they're the yeah. same race. It's not racism. I love Max. Max, so good people. I think we're all like running around different things. All right, though, let's, let's I think outliers are the main thing. Yeah, outliers. Yeah, yeah. Outliers. yeah. Let's, make, let's move on. All right. Let's take a break. Can here. we take a break, dude? Because we need to get our mind right, and there's only one way to do it. If you want to get focused, you want to get in tune, there is Kratom, but it's the Wild West. You can't trust anybody. You can trust Happy Hippo. 
Whether you want pills, powders, gummies, K-dips, taffies, we got it all from the best of the best. It's Happy Hippo. Go to happyhippo.com. Promo code is T-F-A-T-K. That is live right now. You get 20% off. You can use that code as many times as you want for life. T-F-A-T-K, happyhippo.com. 20% off. Listen, you are your first responder. And there is an app out there that can help you and might just save your life, that can get you ready and prepared for worst case scenario for any kind of a disaster prep, teaches you how to do all kinds of stuff. It's called Fieldcraft Survival App. And right now, you can get a monthly prescription. You'll get 30 days free using code FIGHTER33. You can also get a discount on products and training. Use FIGHTER20 for 20% off training and product at fieldcraftsurvival.com. Yeah, let's do this one. How do you guys feel about spiders? I'm, I don't like them at all. Oh, well, giant flying spiders are going to be invading New York City soon, guys. Yeah, I, I don't like that. They're venomous flying. Oh, they're big. I've seen those big boys. In I don't Costa mind Rica. those. It's the... it's the uh, Black Widows? It's No, I don't mind Black Widows. It's those... Uh, what are they called? Tarantulas? Uh, no, funnel web spiders that you get in in Australia. They scare the shit out of me. But These nice. are they flying, have a ton of Yeah. Like Spider-Man. Yeah, they're probably not flying. But why are they in New York? It it says, folks in New York and New Jersey are bracing for the imminent arrival of the Joro spider, a giant venomous species, eight-legged critters known for their ability to parachute around the town. They've been spreading up the eastern seaboard as of now. I don't know. Yeah, they're not deadly, though. If you get bit by a funnel web spider, you can die. And they're all over. Look at that thing. (laughs) a big spider i'm not worried about it they don't scare me too much experts say they're not lethal to humans yeah. or pets now now the funnel web spider and there's That's another word for them and they're in uh they're in different parts of the world yeah oh. that thing look at this see those things they will bite you and kill you this is the most dangerous spider on the planet yeah they will fucking kill you of course they're in australia and they have nests where they have so many babies and you can see you can see video of them when they they open a um, ceiling. Damn, and can you kill see the a human mother. in fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah. You don't want to fuck around with those things. That that is really a big problem. Well, hopefully the movie Arachnophobia doesn't happen. They jump on a. They're also crate aggressive. And come They're over. aggressive, and if you if you ever seen them, they go up on their hind legs and they have their they have those. That's like snake. That's a snake. They have snake fangs, literally. They look pretty big. Yeah, I don't. I don't. They're know. horrible. And they will kill you. You're a little too into these, man. It's in Australia. No, but they're also in. Uh, they're here? also in other parts of the no, world. No, no, no. It just says Australia. No, but there's the family. They're they're a family of spiders that are also in South America, I believe, in other parts. Also the far. Uh-huh. But they could get up here, like yeah, the movie dude. Arachnophobia. Yeah, they scare me, man. They're native to Australia, bud. Yeah, there's another part too of the world. Where they they have a cousin that's just like them, and they're awful. But they're not in Western Australia. Mm. It's so Australia, far, there's it's, so it's, many things that can kill it's you. So far from us. Well, there's it's another so type. Far, there's so, there, 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 that's a family of spiders that exist other places. It's so too. far from us. This is hilarious, right? Oh, so have you guys seen this one this yet? I yeah. guess yeah. Brian has. Yeah, this made me laugh so hard. <laughs> me too. Yeah, I would do this. So <laughs> what's this wrong is, with him? A guy is, did a virtual meeting this to discuss so his suspended license. Just pulling around, it's, it's, pulling it's, around it's his court hearing, and he has a suspended driver's suspended, license. Yeah. He zooms into the hearing driving. But there's more to it, though. So, but it's just his reactions that's actually kind of the, funny. Like he's driving. Mr. Harris, are you driving? Actually, I'm pulling into my doctor's office, actually. So, so um, just give me one second. I'm parking right now. So it goes on, and then he's like... <laughs> that judge is so great. So there's a long pause here. What was he thinking? He wasn't. He's this not a driving thinker. driving license suspended. <laughs> that is correct, Your Honor. Um, and he was just driving. And... Look at the guy. He didn't have a license. He's a mouth breather. He's all, oh. <laughs> he kept saying, uh, 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 multiple times, but apparently so he's all, uh, his, his license was just, uh, suspended because he didn't pay some sort of child support, but then it, it got reinstated in 2022. However, he didn't like go through the full process and there was a clerical error. So uh, 
technically he did still have his license but at the time if you look at the whole article he didn't realize that he got his license reinstated oh, anyway okay he was just wanting to take his wife to the hospital oh ah. that's cool well his All life's right, getting a lot off. tougher let him off uh but he did spend Judges i think two days in jail time. damn they put him two days in jail because he, <laughs> he was all uh <laughs> um mm -hmm. so that's what he says right here what was i thinking just getting my wife medical help and he goes that's i wasn't thinking about the fact that i got a suspended license i don't care about all that so he, he definitely made a dumb decision <laughs> Yeah, don't call in. <laughs> yeah, don't while call driving in. for a suspended license. Off. That's the reason why. Yeah, turn the camera turn off. The but then camera. also, yeah, and who knows if he's actually dropping, going to the hospital. There's I didn't see lot. his wife either, so. No. I just saw him. In we didn't the hear thing. anybody else in the car. This is um, hilarious. This should probably be the last one. So a U.S. bar. It's in Iowa or something? Idaho. 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 <laughs> I believe it's in Idaho. Idaho. Yeah, yeah. So this is one of the things that they said. It's for like heterosexual pride or heterosexual. Yes. <laughs> We have our own month. So he says that's a month. Monday in uh, heterosexual. June, hetero, hetero male Monday, and any Thank heterosexual God. male dressed like a heterosexual male will receive a free draft beer. <laughs> I was we wondering where we and gray and black. I was wondering where we can get our day, man. I know. As long as we wear like blue, gray, and black colors. Every and time that's the old state saloon. Oh. Gay heterosexual pride, gay awesomeness pride month. Parades. Awesomeness People are dressed month. like roosters. It's so interesting. It's like, all right. Guys, yeah, sorry, my my arm's thing. a little sore from boxing yesterday. You told sorry. Yeah, I know, but it's just if people are wondering why I'm doing this, I'm a box. So once a month. Zanies, June 14, 15, 16. See you there. Zanies Nashville. All right, kids. One thousandth episode is happening next Wednesday. One thousand coming in hot. Coming in. We'll hot. make it special. Love you guys.